What's up guys, boy, Benny. AOC is a very easy person to mock. All you have to do is put a helmet on her and let her talk. What is the crime, sir? You, you, Specifically. You, just, uh, you keep up, you ask me the answer. Rico is not a crime. It is a category. What uh, is no. the It's a category crime? of crime. <laughs> this is from the Joe Biden impeachment hearing from just the other day. And while that may be funny for all of us watching from afar, it's not really funny for the people in Astoria, New York, part of the Bronx that AOC represents. Now, of course, she's not from there. She didn't grow up there and live there. She doesn't speak Spanish. She's not really like she, she's a total carpetbagger, right, that moved in from the rich and leafy suburbs of upstate New York to play it quite literally as an actress, she went to an audition to run for Congress to, to play the part of a Marxist in Congress, play the part of a socialist. However, just like you would assume, uh, people who are welcoming in criminal aliens into their district, who are welcoming the lack of policing, defund the police, the lack of uh, any type of Outside investment, you remember AOC famously killed a massive Amazon distribution center that would have brought 50,000 jobs to her suffering and impoverished district. You got to assume that AOC just dumb, but also doesn't care about the lives of the people in her district. Meanwhile, AOC is getting rich, go to the Met Ball and everything like that with her weird uh, boyfriend, husband situation. And um, well, expect her to get called out from some pretty angry New Yorkers, like Kevin O'Leary. Shark takes Kevin O'Leary, shreds AOC over her district looking like the third world, as it does. AOC, what an incredible, incredibly successful politician she is, and what a horrific manager she is. Her, her jurisdiction looks like a third world country, and, and yet she's great at social media and, and making outrageous statements and getting $5 at a time on you know every way she can on social. Good for her. But wow, look what she did when Amazon came knocking for 10,000 Yeah, that jobs. Me blew my mind. How does that I mean, you survive? So, so why would you want to reward that? Why wouldn't you say, excuse me, could I get better management, please? I live here. I pay taxes here and I'd like a job. And I don't think you're doing a great job for me as a manager. How about I hire somebody else? That's what I would encourage. Not that she isn't just great as a politician. There are countries that have weak leaders. There are states that have bad governors. I think people, the great thing about democracy is say, we can do better. Right. Putting up my head, let's do better. Do you think you, as you talk, I get this, it's not personal, it's just business. Just business. But everything is personal now. No, not for me. I mean, you. what you did right there is you gave her a compliment in terms of her, her showmanship and how she does well on social media and she's her, she used her platform and then you criticized the deed. You're like, she's you lost, manager. Yeah, you're not in... Which, that should which, be, but which that one makes you, it? there's a lot of words I could throw. And I but, agree with you. I'll say it with you. I'll say it. I don't. I'm like, who voted for this? And you can see it across the board. You can see it. It, it doesn't have to be AOC. We, you could take it at a re well, super Republican a guy. Example. Yeah, but she's which, a perfect example of cares I about the camera. Wasn't true. Is she a great Nothing. Well, she's a great politician. Let's celebrate that. Is she a bad manager? 100%. She's terrible. They're both true. They so if both she be. was a business, I wouldn't. And, that. You, would you, <laughs> would you pass? So she would so on let, Shark Tank. Let me be specific. specific. Yeah. I wouldn't let her manage a candy store. Wow. But Kevin O'Leary has bought from AOC. Kevin O'Leary went and purchased a sweater that said, tax the rich, eat the rich from AOC's store for 70 bucks. Uh, check this out. I look spectacular in this. I was walking on the beach earlier today, right out there. See that? Everybody wants to buy this off me. I got this from the official AOC site. Now let's talk about gross margins. Check this out. Yep, official AOC shop. I paid sixty-seven twenty-two for this. I'm gonna guess she lands this, or you know, basically for I don't know six bucks. It's fleeceware and five bucks for shipping. That's eighty-five percent gross margin. That's spectacular. Listen, you know what this proves? Inside of every socialist, there's a capitalist screaming to get out. AOC, call me. We could blow this thing up together. We could make a fortune. I only want 7% royalty. That's being reasonable. Call me. So it's gone from like jokes like that to Kevin O'Leary saying he's going to move all of his businesses out of the state. He says that New York is a loser state. California is a loser state. I'll never invest in New York. 
and I'm not the only person saying that, he's moving all of his businesses to Tennessee and to Florida, where they have competitive tax rates and good policies. Kevin O'Leary also saying that New York is potentially threatening the future of America by going after Donald Trump because the core of America, I mean, the whole reason why their colonies started here in the first place was the promise of the protections of your property rights. It's amazing how much property rights separates us from the third world. The fact that a government cannot just go and steal everything that you are making, creating, investing in. Kevin O'Leary did this on uh, CNN the other day, and we thought this was really quite interesting. Uh, the CNN hosts legitimately left gasping after Kevin O'Leary eviscerates the charges against Donald Trump in New York. I don't think this case is about Trump anymore. I think this case is about New York. It's about the American brand. It's about what we promised the world in terms of fairness and justice and investing capital in a country that's built the largest economy on earth. Forfeiture, seizing of assets. Is that in our nomenclature in America? Is that what we tell people that want to bring their money here and protect property rights? Forget about Trump, nothing to do with Trump. You think this is good for business in New York? You think this is good for business in America to take a law that we use to protect people against buying refrigerators at an overpriced value decades ago and apply it against an individual and then talk about seizing assets like he was in Venezuela hmm. or in Cuba? This is well, a ask. very, very, very bad look for New York. And everybody around the world is watching this. This may be well. great. For the attorney general, but this is I not good you. for America. But in terms of the valuation, can you be clear as to why? I mean, why would the properties not be sufficient collateral? What a great message to send out all around the world. Take a claim where there was no monies lost. There was no, there was no fraud here in the context of actually people losing money. Deutsche Bank, who made the loan, was made whole. And let's make a penalty of half a billion dollars against a, a, a crime, apparently, where no monies were lost. Great message for New York. Great message for America. Bring your capital because we'll protect your property. I think that was a statement that would be much better made sometime in Venezuela. I'm not kidding. That's a scary, scary message. And by the way, there are uh, again, no such thing as half a billion dollar bonds. The there are no half a billion dollar bonds. Never been done before. Never. This law has never been applied. Forget about Trump. Nothing to do with Trump. Everything to do about America and the New York brand. Now, ladies and gentlemen, a uh, younger and much fatter version of me once went to Astoria, New York to investigate AOC's district myself and to find out if the uh, lovely people of Astoria needed or wanted any communism or socialism in their representation. And uh, the answers shocked me. Venezuela? Uh, Venezuela? No, don't get me started with Venezuela. Oh, no, 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 no. Chico, no. Hey, everyone. How you doing? Benny Johnson with Turning Point inside of the beautiful, magnificent, glorious 14th Congressional District of New York. Happens to also be the home district of America's favorite socialist, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. We are here to find out tonight if people inside of this district actually believe in socialism. They're already laughing at me. These guys, they're already cracking up. What do they think about socialism? We're gonna find out today inside of AOC's district. Just one question about socialism. I'll give you the question ahead of time, so easy. So easy, no wrong answer. There is a wrong answer, socialism sucks. I don't think so. I was born in a socialist country and I came to this country to get away from socialism. Socialism doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. I like capitalism. I like the fact that I earn my bucks and I spend them on moi, which I'm going to now. Look at this is beautiful. Look at it. Absolutely ravishing. Ravishing. What do you think about socialism? It's like, uh, yeah, I don't agree with socialism. Socialism is supposed to be like where everybody gets the same amount. I want to do better than people. If I work harder and stuff like that, that's why. If you give everything, if you give everybody anything, they could just stay home and then what's the point? 
What's the drive? And that's why socialism is not right for America. All, it, all socialism does is just encourages people just to sit back and do nothing. I think I'd make everyone relax a little bit more. <laughs> Eventually, it's going to go broke. You know, how are you, how you going to pay for free stuff? You might take a year against socialism. Why is that? I'm against freeloaders. <laughs> you got to work. You got to earn it. What do they actually mean by that? I work because I choose to. I give to my church, again, because I choose to. Um, nobody tells me what to do. You, you see? Just say that in the camera. Oh, come on. Look at this. Capitalism right here. Right here in the street. Right here in the street. I'm messing up his capitalism. <laughs> we just witnessed capitalism taking place in the street in AOC's district. It's sickening. I can't believe she hasn't shut this down yet. This is why you're hustling right now. You can see you're grinding. Look at this. Are you chef? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Here at this restaurant? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Start your own restaurant someday? Of course. Yeah? You see these? I quit. I opened my own hotel. Uh, it says that you should pay people who are unwilling to work. You should pay people? We should all, we should all oh, pitch mean, in. Oh, you mean freeload? Yeah, we have plenty of freeloaders in society today. <laughs> they think that they can just print money and it'll solve the problem. It doesn't work that way. And everyone deserves equal protection and prosperity. Came to this country to get away from socialism. That's a powerful story. Do you mind telling me which one or no? Yugoslavia. This is not good. That under the Soviet bloc? Sort of, yeah. Yeah? yeah? Sort of, yeah. Did it suck? Yes, it did. <laughs> and does America awesome? I think it is, yes. That's all you need right there. America! Socialism. It does not bring joy to people. No, it does not. It does not. I mean, seriously, folks? No, no, it does communism. What's your message to an American socialist, to AOC? What's your message? If you love it so much, go, go to all these other countries that have socialism. Look what happened See to how to it. Look at what happened to Venezuela. It is time that we pay people what they are worth and not how little they are desperate enough to accept. Venezuela? Oh, Venezuela? No, don't get me started with Venezuela. Oh, no, 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 no. Chico, no. That is so not good. These kids with their capitalist airpods, I'm talking to them. Hey, you want to talk about socialism? They don't even hear me because of capitalism. They, AOC's district, there's so much capitalism in people's ears. They can't even hear my question. What do you think about socialism? I love it. He loves socialism. Can I ask you a personal question? Sure. How much do you pay for those glasses? <laughs> it, it was Armani almost 20 years ago. Where did you get those eyeglass frames? I can't tell you that. Oh, so you don't know where you got them? Yes, I do. Uh -huh. But I don't want anyone else to have them. Well, that's peculiar. That is a socialist lifestyle right there. Drive away in a Mercedes 300 class in your Armani glasses, custom Armani glasses. That, that is proper socialism right there. It's an easy question. Do you like socialism or no? No, can we get your beautiful dog in the video at least? Oh, oh look at his beautiful, oh my gosh. It's... Look at that. No dogs like that in socialism because they're eating them. AOC, you got problems, I'm telling you. We talked to like a dozen people, no, a single person really likes socialism. The only person that said something nice about socialism uh, was a guy driving a Mercedes 300 class with Armani glasses on. Mm. And I might run for mayor, and who knows? The next AOC, but capitalism. <laughs> so if you love your city, if you love the beautiful 14th district here in New York, which we are in right now, smack dab in the heart of AOC's district. I'll tell you this, you don't want to be socialist, even if you elect one. What's going on, 14th District? <laughs>